Good morning, students. Now I am moving your next main that is your ascending order. So what do you mean by ascending order? Ascending means you are going from small to big. Means you are going to climb your steps now. One, two, three, four, five. So when you count and climb, you count now. One, two, three, four, five. That is what you are going from small to big. So your ascending number order will always be small to big. Okay, this you have to remember. Now, before I start with this, let me you see all the digits here. This three hundred and seventy, six hundred and twenty-two, two hundred and twenty-seven, and five hundred and twenty-two. As I said you, it will be from smallest number to the biggest number. Which is the smallest number in this? See, when you have a doubt, you just look it with your first number. Which is the smallest number? Three is small, six is small, two is small, or five is small. So two is smaller. So let me write two hundred twenty-seven is the smallest number. So I will look it two. So next is small digit is what? Three, three hundred seventeen. Okay. Next. Ah, okay. This is over. This is done. Now six is smaller. So five is smaller. Five is smaller. So it is five hundred fifty-two. And last, I have six hundred twenty-two. So this we are arranging from smallest to the biggest number. Now next step, it is eight hundred and ninety-seven. We are to leave each for each question after you are going to leave a line and write it. Eight hundred and ninety-seven, four hundred, five hundred and thirty-seven, and two hundred and twenty-four. Here you see the first digit. So which is smaller in this eight, four, five, or two? Two, right? So that comes here, two hundred and twenty-five. After two, next will be four is the smallest number. Four hundred. After four comes five, five hundred and thirty-seven, and after five is eight hundred and ninety-seven. So you got a small, big, big, bigger. So like this, you are going to arrange the ascending order. Next, you have five, seven, eight, five, five. I read seven hundred eighty-two, eight hundred and thirty-six, five hundred and ninety-eight, and five hundred twenty-eight. So in this, you have five two digits. So I go with next to two digit number. Ninety eight is smaller. Twenty eight is smaller. Twenty eight is smaller. So five hundred twenty eight. After five hundred twenty eight, you have five hundred ninety eight. After five hundred ninety eight, you have seven hundred eighty two. After seven hundred eighty two, you have eight hundred thirty six. Understood? No? This is how you are going to arrange ascending order. That is small to big. So the last step will be as your homework step. You are writing in your classroom. Now moving with your descending order. The ascending it is small to big. Descending will be big to small. Okay. So as I said you, let me read the number first. Five hundred thirty-eight, seven hundred forty-nine, eight hundred twenty-one, six hundred eighty-eight. So which is the bigger number in this? So the bigger number is eight hundred fifty-one. Next, the bigger number is seven hundred forty-nine. So this is done. This is done. Five is bigger or six is bigger? Six hundred eighty-eight is bigger. So next will be five hundred thirty-eight. So this is how you are going with your descending order. Descending is you are getting down from the step. So when you are getting down from the step, you will count down ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So this is what it is called as in your descending order. Next, it is two twenty one, hundred thirty, one hundred five, and nine hundred eighty. So let me see which is the bigger two one one nine. So the bigger number is nine hundred eighty. So after nine hundred eighty, it is two hundred twenty one. So here you see here this two digit one is same. Here you have thirty and here you have five. So which is bigger? Hundred and thirty is bigger than hundred and five. Got it? The next step: six hundred thirty-one, four hundred forty-two, four hundred twenty, four hundred fifty. So, which is the bigger number? It is six thirty-one, as it is here. Four, 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 four hundred and forty-two, four twenty, four fifty is there. So, which is four hundred fifty is bigger or four forty-two is bigger? Four fifty is bigger. After four fifty, four forty two, and it is four hundred twenty. So this is how you are going to with your descending order. 
So the last sum will be your homework sum. Next, write the even numbers from 30 to 50. Here you are going to write even numbers. What do you mean by even numbers? See, for example, I will be showing with my bangles. Here you have one bangle and here you have two. So I will pair this. See, pairing. Two did two, I paired it. So pairing number is called as an even number. So pairing number is called as even number and pair. So for this I don't have pair. So what I do? It is an odd number. See when you wear your earrings also, it should be same now when you are wearing two earrings, it should be same. One will be different and another will be different, it will be like that? No. So even number is a pairing number whereas odd number is an unpaired number. As I said you, pairing number always starts from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Your even number starts from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, in your textbook it is given that write the even number from 30 to 50. So, 30 is a very even number. After 30, 32, we should leave one more number. 32 after not 30, it is 34. 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48 and 50. This is the even number from 30 to 50. Okay. Now here you have to write the odd number. Odd number means which is an unpaid. Like always odd number starts from 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay. So it is an unpaid. Not you can't pair at all. See when you take a uh, ice. So two eyes it is there. Can you see three eyes? Can you can pair them? No, it is not at all possible. So this is how the odd number is. So here there was odd number from 19. So 19 after 20 is pairing. Two no, it is pairing. After 20 is not of 21. You are going to leave one number in between. So that will be very easy for you to learn. So 21 after 23. 23 after 25. 27. 29, 31, 33, 35, 37 and 39. So this is the odd number from 19 to 39. Got it my children? So let me stop here. Next class I will be teaching with your ordinal number. Okay. Thank you.